Hi, this is Daniel with Mans Mobile, and I'm going to show you a real easy way uh, how to test uh, the GM uh, serial data uh, network. All the uh, different modules are connected together by a splice pack, um, usually found underneath the dash, uh, underneath the steering wheel. Um, and this splice pack will link all the modules together. I drew up a little diagram showing you this is what you'll find in your service info. And this splice pack is an easy way for you to isolate each module. So instead of having to unplug you know, your radio, your cluster, you can just unplug the splice pack, which here I have an example. Um, inside the splice pack you'll have a comb it's just a metal comb and when you pull that out you'll have individual connections to each of your modules and all of them will be isolated and so all you have to do is take a jumper wire and usually on GM's uh, pin A will always lead back to the DLC which will be connected to your scan tool and what you want to do is plug in your scan tool to the DLC and then we are going to jumper um, from pin A to all the other modules and we're going to find out if we have communication so with your scan tool open you start off with the first one uh, in, this, in this example it's the body control module so we're going to go from pin A to pin B and we're going to see if we can communicate. If, if you have communication, that means that all your wires from, D, from your DLC to the body control module are good. You're going to do that all the way through the radio, the IPC, uh, which is your cluster, and then to your airbag. So what you'll find, and say in our example, the airbag module was bad, and it was pulling the entire network down. What you'll find then, if we go from uh, pin A, B, C, D, you'll have communication on every single one. But when you go to pin E, you'll find that you can't communicate with the airbag module. So now you know that your issue is somewhere from this point to the airbag module. And so what you can do is unplug your airbag module and then remove your jumper wires and plug the comb back in to your splice pack so you'll be isolating this part but you'll still have everything here if you have communication now to the body and the radio and the cluster you now know that your airbag module is causing the issue and pulling all this down um, but if you find that if you plug in your uh, your comb into the splice pack and unplug the airbag module that you still don't have communication well, now you know it's not the airbag module that's causing the issue it's somewhere from this point from the splice pack to the airbag module there's something wrong with that wire and this is an easy way instead of having to go one by one and guessing which is at which module is causing the issue this will give you a better way of finding where the problem's at.